Hey, it's Fern, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what we can do about dogs barking out the window. Okay, today's question comes from actually two people. Uh, Carly and Amy both have the same question, and I'm sure a lot of people have this one as well. And it is, how do you get your dog to stop barking at people passing by your house? Well, this is a very tricky problem. Um, and it, it, because it, you have to think of it from the dog's perspective. So here comes, maybe your dog's looking out the window. And here comes somebody walking by with their dog. So they're coming towards your property. Now, we've kind of bred dogs a lot of times to alert us of changes in the environment, to let us know when they hear see, or see something that's different. You know, that was very useful for us in the beginning for survival. So a lot of those, those behaviors have been bred into the dog. So it's their natural and tendency to let us know when something is, is different. So here comes somebody, let's say it's a person walking their dog towards our house. What your dog probably does is react. And what happens is that person is actually just walking by. So he just continues on their way. Now, from the dog's perspective, here comes someone walking towards our house. I yell and I scare him away. They left because of me. The dog doesn't know they just have to be walking their normal route. The dog thinks they're responsible. They did their job. They protected the territory. They said, get the heck out of here. And it worked. Every time the person walks by, it's rewarded. And as we know, Whatever is rewarded will be repeated. So it's almost impossible to address because it's an impossible situation to control. I can't control when people are going to walk by my house. I can't control what they do. So it's really a lose-lose. So there's no real answer of how to stop them to do that except eliminating access to the window. Because what happens is dogs start to generalize. And initially, they're barking at dogs out the window as they pass by. Enough repetitions go by, and then they start walk, barking at dogs on walks. You know, they just generalize dogs in general. So it's, it's a dangerous thing, and reactivity tends to bleed into other aspects, aspects of their life. So if you have a big picture window, you're, you, and your dog sits there all day yelling at people, there's no way to really address that. You've got to remove access to it. It's unrealistic because I can't control the day-to-day -day stuff. Of what for me to treat that I have to have someone walk by the window my dog bark tell that person out there to stop don't go anywhere work with my dog get them calm non-reactive and then have the people leave as you can see that's impossible and this is why every dog barks at the mailman here comes a freaky looking guy in you know in uniform towards my house I yell at him and he leaves the dog doesn't realize he left the mail and went on his way he thinks he's responsible for scaring away that weird guy in the uniform so it's rewarded so you have to eliminate access to the window. If you really want to work on it, you have to do it in a controlled environment or at least catch them and break their fixation as the person approaches. And it takes, it's, it's almost impossible to do because you have to always be on top of it. So the best thing you can do, it sounds like a, a crappy answer, is just to remove access, to open access to that window or maybe at least during high traffic times. All right, I hope that helps. It may not be the answer that you were looking for, but I hope that gives you an understanding about why they're doing it. As always, if you want more tips and uh, information on this, sign up for my free email list and I'll send you my newsletter as well as my free guide. And you can check out uh, how to do that um, with the link somewhere around this video. All right, enjoy the day with your dog and I'll see you real soon.